Tradition also demands that when we are traveling in from a journey, that we must pay respect um, to uh, the Nananum, pay respect to custom. And so they've come here to pay this courtesy call on you, Nana, and to do that by the proper traditional way, by bringing the snaps and a traditional offering um, as a sign of goodwill, um, that their intentions is good. They have not come here with any bad intention. They come here with the best of intentions and they seek the blessings of the land and all that they endeavor to do and to accomplish. And so that is the mission of today's gathering. Uh, of course, our family. Thank you, Rabbi, for the uh, explanation. I think uh, it's going to be a very brief gathering, and then uh, we'll move to see the fruit of it, and we'll go from there. Shino uh, Achibi once said that uh, when family gather on the day, uh, when the village group gather on the moonlight, it is not that they cannot assess the moonlight from their individual homes. But it is just right that kinsmen from time to time have to gather to think about the community, about the family. So this is a beautiful gathering. Uh, it's a gathering of powerful African minds, powerful talent. And uh, I know that we can only move forward as a people when we are able to tap into the resources of the diaspora. There is riches in Africa. We have land, we have minerals, we have everything. Our kinsmen in the diaspora, they have been exposed to technology, uh, to uh, education, different stuff. So if we are able to tap into that, if we, if we encourage that, if we caught that, 
I think we are able to build the Africa that we all want. What I want to tell you is that you are, you are home. You are home because this is where our forefathers, you know, were sent away. So once you come here, if you come to Ghana and you don't come to Cape the Coast, then you haven't come home. So once you are here, you are home. Now, we, as Nana Bradley said, we are endowed with so many natural resources. What we need to do, and so that's why this place is called Responsibility uh, Plaza, or Obligations Plaza. Asuzi means an obligation. Asuzi in our local language is translated as obligation. So we all have obligations towards each other to combine our resources, whatever resources that you have, uh, be it human resource, um, physical or uh, monetary resource or whatever you have. We need to combine with what we also have to be able to build our communities. And I believe that that's why you've come back. All the Dream Teams is here today. Uh, my name is Ronald Dalton Jr. I'm um, the leader of the group that came from America and Canada. Um, I'm not sure if we have anybody from the Caribbean, but we have people of Caribbean descent here. Um, teamed up with Gilbert with Godbox Foundation to bring the people from the diaspora back home to Africa to see that they have a home here and that this is biblical prophecy. Uh, a lot of times when you look at African Americans, um, at least some of the people in the group, you know, we can attest that we've been through a lot in America. Um, and so in America and the Caribbean and the United Kingdom, it's serious times. So we may have serious look on our face because we see what's happening, things are getting worse, and we know the biblical timeline of where everything's headed. And it's important, um, like Marcus Garvey talked about, people that don't know their history, their, their history, their connection, their roots. Um, they're like a tree lost in the wind without roots. And um, Malcolm X even said that it's impossible to organize a sleeping people around specific goals. He said, first you have to wake the people up first and then you get the action. And there's also a quote that says, if we don't learn from our history, then we're doomed to repeat it again. Mm -hmm. And I believe, like you said earlier, that the diaspora community, uh, the children that was forgotten and this was scattered, that we and the locals is here, we're like the key in the lock. And the key in the lock is necessary to open the door. And once we open the door, then we can unlock all the potential that the people have here and what God has given us. Um, a quick story before we, we do the, uh, the offering. Um, my mother is from Harlem, New York, and she's Antigua, from Antigua, the island. And the older guy, he's Antigua, and he, he's like in the 70s. And he said when he was a kid, the Portuguese would always sail to, to the island of Antigua. And they were always, he would always ask the little kids, and he, the, the older man was a kid at the time, he said, well, do you know who you guys are? Do you know who you are? He said he never understood why the Portuguese would always say that to him. And so later when he got older, he started doing his research and finding out the truth that he remembered that the Portuguese guy said that you guys need to know who you are because you're God's chosen people. But he didn't understand what, he, what the guy was saying until he was in the 70s. And so we're now coming into the understanding of who we are and why we were sold into slavery. And why now is the time for us to come back home? Because America is not a home. That was not the land covenant that was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, so this is prophetic. This is biblical. And it's, and it's biblical destiny. And there's a concerted effort in the West to stop all of this. Yes. To stop the diasporans from coming to Africa from the way we left. From Tanzania, from the Congo, Angola, Nigeria, Togo, all over. Uh, so this is very important. And with you offering us land, that's very important too, because we can't own land in America. It's owned by a queen. Uh, same thing in Jamaica, the Caribbean, the same thing in Canada. Uh, so this is very important because, because you know, if you're gonna call a country your home, then you should better own land in the home. But we don't have that. We're not, some people don't consider us citizens. Gifts, offerings to you, um, form of monetary, and also, um, what's it called, snaps, snaps? So, um, we want to present that to you right now. Yeah. Um, you want to...
Onions or anything? And everybody else that has a different type of gift, uh, beverage, you can come up one by one, and then we can. <laughs> My great-great-grandmother was born on a slave ship coming from Africa. She settled in Virginia, and the family settled in Texas. I feel honored and blessed that I'm here. Thank you. Two years ago, I never envisioned being in Africa. I grew up in Grenada, the West Indies, and Africa was never emotional. Uh, uh, we never had an emotional connection. It was like a story we heard. I'm grateful to the Heavenly Father for the guidance that I've had during the last two years that has brought me home. I just like to say that. Uh, it's an honor to be home, to be here on the continent. I'm humbled. Um, my father desired to be here, but he passed in 2008. So I'm humbled that his son gets to see home. Thank you for allowing us here. My name is Akbar uh, from Seattle. I was blessed with the opportunity to come to Ghana um, in 2014, um, and I fell in love with Ghana, with the land. And now seven years later, I've been blessed. The Most High has allowed us to come back with plans to bring my entire family to live. So I say thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for your generosity in allowing us an opportunity to thrive and, and be blessed in the land of our forefathers. Um. I'm Jamaican by birth. Um, I just I did a DNA test before I I got here, and when, yesterday I found out that my my mom is Ghanaian. My mom's side of the family is, is Ghanaian, so I'm thankful to be here and looking forward to what the future holds. My name is Sean. Um, I want to thank you all the Ghanaian uh, people for uh, hospitality and for the gracious pieces that uh, you've been showing since the beginning. I truly feel like I've uh, come home. So, uh, thank you for the time and thank you for the time. My name is Joshua. I'm also uh, um, of Jamaican heritage, uh, though I now live in, in Canada. Um, I'm also of the Maroon stock. Um, I thank the Most High for being here and allowing me to uh, be in your presence and hopefully be able to repatriate uh, soon. So I um, just want to say thank you for you for what you have done and uh, hope the ancestors will continue to give you long life and health. Mm -hmm. And let uh, Hello, my name is Cheryl. I'm here from North Carolina with my uh, with Karen. Um, that is a gift from our Assembly um, of North Carolina Goods and Items that we think that you would like that are specific for North Carolina. And we're just so happy to be here. I think we're the spy. We're, we're spying out the land for our families, and um, it's just an honor. Thank you for the gift. I have the uttermost respect for you, sir. Uh, my name is Josiah Yeshu. And I'm originally from Puerto Rico. Um, my father, uh, his grandfather and his ancestors came from slavery. And also my mother's side also. Uh, her grandmother was also a slave. And um, I have really respect for you. Um, the African community in Puerto Rico is very large. Um, they are very uh, aware of who they are 
they just it's hard for them uh you know they, they have a lack of knowledge of who they are so right now as you see the afro latino community if you see online they're very uh they're they're starting to basically accepting their roots and i am very thankful for you for doing the things you're doing for our people thank you well, my name is daniel I'm from new york in the u.s um, my mother is Trinidadian, uh, father from Barbados. Uh, I'm the first of my, I mean, recent family history to make it back over here. And I'm beyond grateful for the opportunity. I fully support everything that you're trying to do. And I look forward to all the great things we'll accomplish together. Thank you. Uh, hello. My name is Jay. Um, I'm here from New York City. My family is from Haiti. Um, this is, I'm the first of my generation to be able to even afford to be able to come back to the homeland country. So I just want to say thank you guys for providing us this opportunity and the, the opportunity to own land, which is very important to our heritage and our people. So thank you. Good afternoon. My name is John Bidding. I give deference to you guys this morning, this afternoon. Um, I'm a speaker. I'm going to try to make it brief, but evil forces and rulers in dark places try to prevent us from being here. My wife and my wife, myself, but I believe in the law of attraction. And I've, I've always had a desire to be here since I was younger in my teenage years. And to be able to touch foot on this great continent has been such a blessing. Although the enemy meant it for evil, the most high meant it for good because there's a purpose in everything. I'm honored to be here today. Bless you. My name is Lorraine Harris. I was born in Jamaica. Um, my family's from Jamaica, so definitely from somewhere here. Um, thank you for having me, giving me the opportunity to um, be amongst you. Mm -hmm. How you doing? I'm William James Wilson III, known as Bo. Um, my parents' grandparents were slaves in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm here to thank you. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your greatness. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you in advance for all you do for us. And we will do our part. We have it rough in America. However, I have not shared that. So I feel really, really, really blessed. I will use all my resources that I've learned coming up as a young child. And I will bring it to Ghana. And I will help bring money to God. I'm vowed to do that. The Most High has blessed us all. Thank you. Thank you very much for all the gifts. We welcome you once again to Obukase Paddle.